Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistener Elf here. The quest for today includes casting 20 red or green spells. And because of that, I just decided to throw together, really quickly, just a mono green deck. This is mono green stuff I had. <laughs> mono green ramp. So, we're playing cards like Arboreal Grazer, Leafkin Druid, Paradise Druid, District Guide, Fertilid, Circuitous Root, Migratory Greyhorn, Ver <laughs> Beanstalk Giant, you, you see the idea. We get lands out of our deck fairly quickly. And then once we have a ton of mana, we just play a giant creature. So these are just the ones I happen to have. These are certainly not ideal. You would be seeing a lot more of her if, that, if this were ideal. But this is just what I had. So we have Cavalier of Thorns, Nyssa, who shakes the world, uh, Gargos, Vicious Watcher, uh, Wake Root Elemental. Beanstalk actually gets to double as both ramp and a win con. I love creatures like that. And then Voracious Hydra. Uh, which actually reminds me, maybe I should run Incubation Druid here instead of Leafkin Druid. Maybe I should, because it's not really a win con, it's a three. You know what, we'll try it out. This is kind of a meme thing anyway, so oh, might as well. One, two, three. And it makes this look a little neater, I guess. So Incubation Druid has Adapt, can become a three five, so at least it becomes bigger. Uh, I guess it matters for Shock. Um, maybe it matters for the amount of mana that's made, if I have enough creatures. Maybe it matters for Migratory Great Horn. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. And we're just gonna jam some games, so uh, let's take this into... not ranked. Let's take this into... just... standard play. Here we go. Here goes nothing. You actually can run this in Historic as well, and you get more. You actually get one drop mana ramp. An Elvish Mystic. And that'd be nice. Oh, shoutouts to uh, Shinji once again. Thanks for being a bro. I don't anticipate I'm gonna win very much, but this is just this is just for fun. Okay though. Okay. This looks okay. This looks nice. Give him the hello to start things off. And you and you. And there we go. <laughs> alright, so putting out a 0-3 reach against a Rakdos deck, that seems alright. That seems pretty good. Now we have a bit of a, a trick here. I'd like to play Fertilid. Um, hmm. As much as I would like to play Fertilid, if I get another land, I can pop this thing twice. That would be great. That would be ideal. Since I can't just yet, I think I'm actually going to wait. We'll play Migratory Great Horn, Mutate. All right. Now the way this thing works, I put it. Yep, there we go. So it's over, right? I think that's how this works. <laughs> All right, get a forest out, and then we'll hit for three. And we'll regret that because haste, I guess. Okay, that's fine. It's a 3-3 versus a 3-4. We can probably live with that. Just a little bit. I think Root is probably the one to hit now. Circuitous Root. Um... What, what are they doing? We'll attack, we'll attack. Alright. And then we'll play Root. Get those two out. And, hey look, six mana. More to come, I imagine. Insati- okay. X is the number of times. Okay, that's pretty decent. So, things I can do here... I think I'm actually just going to play Fertilid and then pop it twice. Make sure this isn't sorcery only. It's not. Okay. Death Touch, Reach, Trample. There's a lot going on there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Definitely wait to use this ability. Uh oh. Oh boy. 
Well, we're gonna lose this regardless, unfortunately. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, it does have trample, so I can't really block to do some shenanigans. Alright. Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna take that hit. Alright. Target a player. I will put that into play. And then do it again. Yes, please. All of the lands take a big ol' hit. And then play Voracious Hydra to fight it, I guess? That's annoying. That's annoying. We would just lose it right off. Let's see. I would need it to get to... Oh, I can't make it big enough yet, can I? Giggity. Oh boy. Now how am I going to do this? Okay. Thank Jay, thank. I could go Beanstalk Giant as a 9-9. I'm one mana shy from being able to... Cause this, wait, does it come in tap? It does not... Oh, okay, okay. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. It does not come in tapped. Interesting. No... I'll give him the good game. What you... <laughs> okay, that was cool. That was cool. What can you do? We tried. We tried, folks. We put out a 10-10. Alright. So let's, let's try that again. I think we can maybe manage to make it work. Maybe. I did actually open the... I got some packs, by the way, so sorry about that. I was building another deck. You'll see it in a video coming up in the future. Uh, but I was hoping that I could actually get the cards instead of having to burn wild cards for them. So, sorry about that. Missed a th three-pack opening. Bald Venison. I guess. Alright. Well, sure, this looks fun. They're going first, so maybe I can find a land off the top here. All of the lands. It's a 25 land deck, but we do a pretty good job of getting through those lands. Now, one of the weaknesses to just a pure ramp deck like what we're running is that you can have your lands, you can have your ways to... You, you can have your enablers, but if you don't have and resolve your win cons, it doesn't really matter. You can have 13 mana, but if you don't have a creature or a planeswalker or something on which to spend it, it doesn't do you all that much good. Uh, so you're sitting. That's that's why having cards like Beanstalk Giant that can do both are so important. Uh oh. Well, this is not a good matchup. I can already tell. Yeah, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. Okay. I mean, okay. Hmm. Interesting. So I guess we go. District Guide is a 2 2. I guess we'll play the 2 2 out. Yeah, no gates. Oh, you. You genius. It doesn't put it into play. You, you're getting cut. I'm sorry, District Guide. You're getting cut. Uh... Uh... Uh-oh. Oh, no. And then they get to make a zombie. Make a Zamboni. Make a Zamboni. Okay. 
Uh, so we can go Beanstalk Giant, and then Paradise Druid or Incubation Druid. In this case, I guess we can prevent one damage from Hateful Eidolon with a 2 toughness. Plus this can turn into a 3-5. Alright, we'll pass. Yeah, thankfully Timred's toughness gets better, but not his power. Uh-oh. Destroy target creature. Ah, uh, oops. Whale. It's not looking great. It's not looking great. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh boy. Hmm. At least we're gonna cast our green spells. As many green spells as it'll let it. Oh, you know what? I should have made a 3 4 there. Should have made a 3 4. Could have made a hexproof 3 4. <sighs> oh well. And a hexproof 3 4 that would have gotten me a land so that if I survived another turn, Beanstalk Giant could come down. If. Big if. Gary's over here saying no. Um. If I last one more turn, just a little bit longer. If I can last just a tiny bit longer, then I can cast one more spell. Just for the quest. Alright. Give him the good game, and concede. <laughs> yeah, about that. About that. I told you this one probably wasn't going to go as well. Alas, I was right. Alright. So let's let's try this one. We can get one win, even with a silly deck like this. We wait, 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 wait. First. First. No. What else can we add? Um I guess more adventurous impulse as an extra one drop, something to do on turn one, and then another forest. We're just we're just being quick about it. Uh, sure, why not? Let's go with that. All right, and then back at it. All right, all right. Ooh. Yeah, if it put it into play, that'd be one thing, but doesn't, so... Uh, alas. Alas. Oh, and now we're at 26 lands. That's a nice number by me. Uh, 25 is as many as I run in the Rug Land Destruction deck. And since we're playing a ramp deck, it feels kind of low to only have 25. I wouldn't want to go too, too much higher. Uh, I think 26 is probably good. Uh, <laughs> since we're able to get the lands out of our deck as well, 26 may seem high, but then when you play enough Vertilids and Circuitous Roots and things like that, it doesn't end up being as bad. Oh, jeez. We're gonna keep it, though. Alright. Jeez. This, this could go poorly. This could go really poorly. We're gonna pretend, however, that that isn't how it's going to go. Swing for one. <laughs> Might as well. Might as well. It's a it's a power play. Make a statement. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, crap. All right. Yeah. Welcome to cycle the deck. By the way, something interesting about this card. It's not remove eight counters and exile it, or and sacrifice it. It's just remove eight counters. They can keep doing this the whole game. Uh oh. That's not looking great. That's really not looking great.
Alright, let's see what we can get. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, about that. I probably shouldn't have even attacked, just in case they can shock it. Probably not. Shock, Lava Coil, Jaya's Greeting, whatever the heck they feel like. Okay. I thought this would be cycling the deck, and I'm sure there's some in here. Oh. Oh, hi, Sprite Dragon! I love this card. Spoiler alert, that's in the deck I was talking about earlier. Sprite Dragon, silly card. Love it. Alright. Now you're dead. Yeah. Yeah. I goofed. It doesn't matter, got lucky. Okay. Stuff. Stuff is happening. Now they're gonna get to make 8 eights though, so that's a problem. But, thankfully I have another one. Well, we've we've successfully ramped. Now we just need to hit bombs. Uh oh. Okay, so they have it. your main throwing, and I will inspire your heart. Yeah, they they have eight now. Oh boy. No, is to triumph. Can they they can do that at any time? Yeah, that's a problem. We're still going to attack. We'll actually attack the planeswalker. This will get him to use them up. 8-8 eight, eight, trades with an 8-7. And we'll be okay. Because numero dos. Unless they have like a quelch or something. Right. Oh, here's a delay. Maybe they can counter it. Nope, okay. We're all right. We'll live. We'll be okay. Let us plan for the trials ahead. I do like their accents. Gee, I wonder why. All right. So opt. Okay. Quickly building up to that second kraken. Ominous Seas is one of those weird cards where it's, it for, starts out being a zero for one, but if the game goes on for long enough, it can turn into, theoretically, an infinite number of cards. Even just one 8-8 eight eight is more than the average card. Uh-oh. Okay, so Sprite Dragon, aka a blocker, I believe. Now, if I had a spell to target Gargos, I could use it to fight the pet here. I don't. Alright. Going here. Block. That's cool. That'll work. Boom. Alright. Main two. And we can adapt whenever we feel like it. Alright. So now we shouldn't have that as an issue going forward. Good grief. Uh-oh. Okay. They must have another one. Oh, okay. They didn't. Interesting. Interesting. Just a noobs, I guess. Crystallizing. Just an oops. All right, no, they have another one. No! Oh, no! Ah, oh, you jerk. That's game. 
We'll still play it out. I do want to play until I get one win. One win, please. Ah! They got me. They got me. Oh, you know what? That might have been what the shock was for. It might have been to try to fill up the... Because they had exactly enough cards with Blitz to kill... No, they didn't, because he's an 8-7. Not an 8-8. Eight, eight. Never mind. It was just a mistake. Alright, well, at least we got that. I'm still going to play. I'm going to get there. Eventually, with this silly deck, I'm going to get there. Crossing Finger, Hidden Dragon. Ooh, okay. You know, it's possible, not terribly likely at all, but it's possible we could whiff with Adventurous Impulse, isn't it? Circuitous Route? No, no, there aren't that many. It's possible, but exceedingly unlikely. I, I misremembered there being way more instant sorceries. I think it's just Impulse and Circuitous Route. Alex Palm. Shoutouts to Alex19. Alright. <laughs> I wish I could remember the, uh, the copy pasta to give them, to give here. Alex19 isn't so great. Alex Palm isn't so great. <laughs> when was the last time you saw Hello so extravagant? Okay, so that's easy. We don't have another land, so I could do Fertilid, or I could do some of the others. We'll do Paradise Druid. Make a statement. <laughs> Make a statement. Alright, so what, more Feather shenanigans, I guess? Yep, yep, we're playing Feather. Let's go. Okay. Well, that's a problem. That's a bit of a problem. Guess we'll just do it now. Yeah, this is not, this is not a, I would imagine not a great matchup. Tajay, okay, so what's your shtick again? Haste, mentor, prevent all non-combat damage. Alright, gets a counter. Alright. Would be dealt to other creatures you control. So here. Here. Am I seeing this correctly? This is right, isn't it? This is weird. What am I missing? Because that looks like such a weird trade. Alright, now this does come in tapped, though. I guess I can do it once. I, I want to keep that, though, because they're about to make more creatures. Alright, we'll just play them out. We'll wait. That was such a weird way to go about it. Now can we get some feather shenanigans? Winota. Oh boy. Oh boy. What are you? You're a human knight. Okay. Well, I guess there's that at least. So we'll go here. Oh, yeah, can that one work anyway? Just block this way. Oh boy. Whale. Whale. Why am I doing this now? Why on earth am I doing this now? I have no idea. 
that's a decent bit of mana going forward. And Wake Root is a 5-5. But oh, jeez. Chandra, you need more control. Jeez. Just let me burn. Hey, these little guys are great. They sure are. Ah, oh, boy. Yeah, why did I do that just then? Genius that I am. What is this? Protection from two? Oh, and then another one. Protection from three. Uh, protection from each other than three. Well, that's interesting, I guess. What's the restriction on this? Hmm. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, we're dead. We're dead, actually. If I make this thing big enough... One, two, three, four... Fights a creature you don't control. Fight Winota. I'm gonna take six for sure. No, I still lose, don't I? I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this thing. Why did it have to be on three? <laughs> yeah, this is this is not great. I like what their deck is doing though. This is kinda cool. I like being the guy that is getting his butt whooped and still liking the silliness that's going on. Okay. Even? Uh okay. Say hi to my fiery friends. Sure. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Better attack with everything. Okay. Whale. You have a uh, trample. Reach. One there. I mean, we are just dead no matter what I do here. Yeah, we can't make another turn, though. Ah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a three drop. It can't. No, it doesn't. I uh, give him the good game. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that just got out of hand. Just a lot. Just a little bit. I thought that Tajik play was going to give it to us. The the misplay there. But no, it ended up working out for them. All right, we've got to get one. Get one with this silly mono green ramp deck. This is what happens when you just throw a deck together. It doesn't always, it does, it rarely, it never works out now, it's okay. <laughs> All right, Ooh. You know what? Give me just a minute. <laughs> I knew I was forgetting something. Okay, well... Sure. That's fine. I forgot the lights. Uh, now you can see a bit better, right? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> My back's against the wall. Well, given the way that the record's been going so far, it won't take long before it is. 
Okay, that'll work. Yay, flash! Woo! Simic flash! Woo! With the ozolith, okay. I mean, I, I guess we'll play the thing we can play. Yeah, let's let's hang on to that. We are not going to get to resolve this Nissa. There's no way. Wait, they just tapped out. Maybe we will. What is this? Reach, trample, flash, flying. When it mutates, destroy tar. Okay. Well, I guess let's resolve Nissa then. has Vigilance, so we might as well attack with it. Might as well attack with both of them, actually. Boom, boom. Okay. And then we can uh, use Fertilid's ability later on. It does fly. A flying uh, uh, budget Godzilla, I don't know. I don't, I'm not too familiar with the lore. Okay. Token has, oh god. Well, okay then. I will protect the virtue of this world. Be wary of the ground you walk on. I'm willing to trade forest. to blockers. Let's block here. Oh, okay. Now, here we go. That's more like it. Boom. Okay. And it does gain haste. So we can deal six to Nyssa here, but we'll lose our Nyssa in the process. can play Cavalier. I guess I could use Gargaros. That'd be interesting, as a way to sort of protect my creatures. But you have Reach, so I'll use you instead, I guess. There's that. I am in need of rest. And then what else does this guy have? He has a bunch going on, doesn't he? Oh, and we get. To... Wait a minute. <laughs> That's so silly. I kind of want to cast that too. Sure, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Let's just have all of the things. This is a silly, now it's looking silly. See, I told you we needed more Nyssa. All of the Nyssa. Every single Nyssa, uh-oh. 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 It does have trample. Well. Uh, and then this one doubles it, and it has trample. Okay. Well, that's, that's a problem. Wait, 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 not yet. There we go. These come in tapped. Is there a reason not to just swing out here? Let's see, if I don't win this turn, let's do some math here. If I don't win this turn, so he's gonna block the biggest one here, presumably. Five, eight, 11, yeah, we're one shy. One shy. Yeah, I, I see that. I see that. 
Alternatively, I could swing with everything except Cavalier. That might be better. That's what I'll do. Swing with everything except the creature that has reach. Because this flies. And when it dies, I'll actually get something back from my yard. Alright, here goes. Yeah. Um, yeah, they didn't block anything. Okay. I guess they figured that if they did block, they weren't going to win anyway. I guess. Which, I mean, fair enough, I suppose. Yeah. Alright, well that's, that's one, and that was a silly game too. I guess that'll do it. That, that'll do it. Alright, take care at Magic Community, I will see you all later. Bye bye Real deck next time, I promise. Real deck next time.